Okay, next example. Given PQ is 6 unit, QR is 9 unit. If PQ and R are collinear, express PR in terms of PQ. So, if PQ and R are collinear, okay, express PR in terms of PQ. Okay, so since they are collinear, means PR is parallel to PQ. So, you can find the value of the lambda. But given to you magnitude PQ and QR. But here they ask you PR, not QR. So, how to find the, the magnitude of PR? So, magnitude of PR is means P magnitude of PQ plus magnitude of QR. Okay. So, PQ is 6, QR is 9, so become 15. Okay, so if they are collinear, they are like this, right? P, Q and R. Okay, so P, Q, uh, P, R, lambda P, Q, P, R is 15, P, Q is uh, what? 6. So, lambda is 5 over 2. So, thus, PR is 5 over 2 of... Okay, lambda is 5 over 2. So, PR is... Vector PR is 5 over 2 lambda. A uh, vector PQ. Okay, vector PR is 5 over 2 of vector PQ. So, now... You have already answered the question. Express PR in terms of PQ done.